The main point is that people communicate meaning among themselves. We have lots of service to facilitate that. We have Gmail, Twitter, Facebook. And in the 19th century, we had telegraphy, where we took a message and carried it across. The problem was, in the 19th century, you had to build your own private infrastructure to do it without a lot of technology. Bits have now allowed us to separate the meaning, the message, and the meaning of the message from the actual information exchange. And the new idea is that we can have a commons, a single medium in which all these messages, the meaning can be exchanged, and we can do it using devices on our behalf. And not, not only do we have people communicating, we have devices communicating, but all they're doing is exchanging bits without meaning, which is completely different than, than the horseless carriage term of te telephony. So what we need, so the big idea is that we have, you know, what I call a bit commons. Now the problem is, you don't fund the commons by selling individual things any more than you build a bridge by having people put brick, uh, individual profitable bricks in place. The values are the whole. So we have to do what we did with roads and what we did like the subway in New York and things, where you have to fund them as, as infrastructure and pay for abundance rather than have a system where the only way to keep value is by keeping scarcity. So the key idea then is we shift the funding model to dealing with infrastructure, which is remarkably cheap. The only cost of telecom now is billing. That's why we have redundant infrastructure. So once we shift to that model, we then, we then have every, all the Moore's Law type effects towards hyper growth. And we're back in about 1970 in terms of our ability to connect. That every copper wire can run gigabits. The other key idea is that networks are a service. They're not fundamental. What's fundamental is copper, fiber, radios. And those can be operated locally as facilities to facilitate communicating. And rather than a railroad model, which comes back to the days of telegraphy, we need a road model where each router is like a corner sign. You can send your package on the post office off in this direction just by reading the signs along the way. Remember, we created a road system by taking roads and just labeling them with a number. We didn't build a road system. Yeah. So let's go with the idea of a physical infrastructure, operate locally, we operate our home networks, it's not a network, it's just copper and radios we use, and we expand that idea out, we're owners, this is the positive part, we have shared property, in that we don't have to pay to use the copper, it's been paid for, and we discover abundance. Um, and the key thing is to shift the funding model to common infrastructure, and the rest follows. And the internet was a lesson is not a thing. It simply says, if we remove the cost of connecting bits, magic happens. Now let's throw away the internet, except to mulch it, and let's now start connecting from the edge. Awesome. Thank you. Bravo. I think we might be getting somewhere to deglazing the essence of Bob Frank's testimony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, Bo, then JP. I exchanged with Sheldon and then me. So uh, go to Sheldon first then. I'll just offer a brand, Frankston's Imperative. <laughs> Frankston's Imperative. On, infrastru on, in on infrastructure. That feels very imperative. Yeah, it does. Right? It's got a okay. good energy going for it. Uh, JP then Roxanne. Oh, sorry. Bo, then JP then Roxanne. Uh, this isn't a question. It's, uh, I would say people communicate and create meaning. That's well, it. Well, but they create meaning and it's equivalent. No, people create meaning between each other. Okay. Really, JP. One of the things that, I mean, I've spent quite a lot of time with you about talking this through. The, the thing that concerns me the most right now is as we make these environments horizontal, as soon as you make one layer neutral to all, the right of monopoly shifts to a new layer. Yes. So in the UK, what happened to me was when we had the regulator take away last mile rights and provide access to all, those people who had <coughs> exclusive rights to premium content created the new monopolies. So, the iPhone. Yeah, but the problem then doesn't go away because the issue you're trying to solve is monopoly. Okay? No, there is no point just saying we used to own infrastructure, we don't own it anymore no. because Anything that creates a monopoly corrupts the service. No, I, and what I'm saying is, I'm not trying to solve Lloyd Manny's problem. Yeah. I'm simply trying to give us more capacity to do more things. Well, the, people will gain the new opportunities, of course. 
Oh, sorry, Roxanne. And you don't have to answer this. It might be rhetorical. I think you're right. And the question is now, how do we regulate that into existence? No, how do we unregulate that into existence? Which yeah. is the point. Because if you start at the edge, where individual facilities and bits are much worse than greased pigs and trying to hold them in place. So the bits will flow. Right now, all the efforts of the regulator system are what creates scarcity. Uh, so we have to basically, if we reduce the bits, it's then there are the choke points that enable today's, at least this aspect of scarcity. So you creep it from the edge? Yes, you start to interconnect systems and bits will flow. It's very hard to prevent it from flowing. Once we reduce the bits, if it's meaningful information, it's easier to prevent it from flowing. You have ownership of you create these types. But the idea that we have to build these redundant broadbands all for one reason only is to keep bits in billable paths is the problem. Once you remove that incentive, it's hard to prevent it. We also remove the silly distinction between wireless bits. I mean, going to a tower just to get bits to the phone next to you is absurd. So, but that's the thing. It's a bit comment, I think, is the idea. John Abbott, Sheila, then we're off to the next topic. Um, I, I just wanted to say the machines are not uh, just passing along the bits, they do some processing, which at least creates the potential for them to impact people. Well, that's a more complicated discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.